Some of the differences are, obviously, you don't have the upper fairing that we do have on a discrete. That is now the roof itself. So now that becomes more usable uh, space and creates that large interior uh, environment. The sun visor actually is a different shape as well because as we go through our aerodynamic development, the sun visor has to be developed to improve the airflow through there, right? The, the dynamics of the air coming off the windshield are not the same between an ultra loft and a uh, discreet sleeper. The transition panel that goes from the cab to the sleeper is obviously a different design. Being an integral design, there was a lot of development work to make that transition panel the most uh, aerodynamic you can. And that's where we get some of our benefits, just from the transition from the cab on the sleeper. As well, in the back of the sleeper, the aerodynamic bearings off the back of the sleeper and off the roof, they are also new and redesigned to improve the airflow off the back of the cab and onto the trailer. The Ultra Loft has a 2% improvement in aero efficiency based on a reduction of aero drag, which normally results in 1% improvement in fuel efficiency.